this is Nico B here with a let's play of Miles Edgeworth, Ace Attorney Investigations, The Prosecutor's Path, but also more commonly known as Ace Attorney Investigations 2. Yes, oh man, this game's been a long time coming. So I finished the uh, original uh, Investigations game back all the way in freaking February. And uh, I finished Apollo Justice about three months ago, so I think that's plenty of time. I feel rested and rejuvenated for another Ace Attorney's game. And this one, according to a lot of you all, is actually considered to be one of the best games in the series. So, holy shit! That's a pretty big jump, because while I did enjoy the first Investigations game, I, I think it was one of the weaker games. There were... There were some moments in there, such as that final case really dragged out. But to go from that, then to a game now is considered by many fans to be one of the best in the series. Like, holy shit, fucking awesome. <laughs> it's got me pumped. But believe it or not, this game was never actually officially released outside of Japan. So what I'm playing he right here is a uh, is a fan translation. Like, seriously, Capcom? Seriously, can you not get your shit together? It's really one of the best in the series. Why in the world have you not released it out in the West? I mean, for God's sakes, guys. You're just burning money at that point. But fortunately for us, uh, Die Hard... Ace Attorney fan went and translated this whole thing, so... And you guys know I love fan translations. I actually find a lot of the fan translations to be better than the official ones. Because they show so much love for their series, you know? There's no monetary or, or commercial gain they can really expect to get from that. So the only reason they do it is for their love of the series. And I think for that reason alone is why a lot of these fan translations end up being really good. But yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. I, uh... Oh god, it's been it's been since February since I've done the Edgeworth voice. Oh my god! Although I actually this and I think about it, this is actually probably going to be my last uh, Ace Attorney game that isn't uh, voiced in the game. Or I, actually, I guess it'll probably be my last Nintendo DS for uh, Ace Attorney game as well. Ah, oh, that means no more Nico voicing the characters for the remainder of the games. At least I don't think so. Unless unless it's like Danganronpa where like where characters don't talk outside of the courtroom or something. So yeah, so this is a, a direct sequel apparently to the uh, first Investigations game. Uh, so I guess, yeah, it would, it would take place before uh, Apollo Justice. But I'm guessing we'll see Kay Faraday. That's that's my Maya, Edgeworth's Maya. And uh, uh, what is that guy's name? That, uh, the guy with the hair. He had this kind of voice. I, I can't... I can't remember his name, damn it. L, it starts with an L. Lang! Yes! Okay, okay, that's it. Yes, Lang. I'm sure he'll probably be back. There was a lot we didn't really learn about Lang either, so... I'm, uh... I hope we, I hope we do, at least. I don't actually see a silhouette in the background there, so maybe, maybe we don't, but... Uh... Anyway! Without further ado, let's get started. Episode 1, Turnabout Target. There it is, we can see it. It's the Emissary of Peace from the East. The President's private plane is arriving at Gord Lake. Oh, Gord Lake. That's what with Gordy! The imaginal the imagination dragon! Oh, can you hear it? Blush! Damn it. Welcome, Zengfa Republic. Welcome, Mr. Pre oh, absolutely, Zeng's gonna be here then. Mr. President, this way, please, your audience awaits. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh. This is how Edgeworth became president of Zengfa. My dear friends, oh shit. Days ago, a swallowing ring that has long played my nation was exposed and crushed. Ah, yes. It's possible thanks to, you, thanks to your country's prosecutor's office. Oh, fucking hell, he's about to die. The bottom of my heart, I convey unto them my utmost gra gratitude. However, the battle is still not over. I declare here and now. The heroes shall be brought down upon all evil. Oh, in the face! Eee! Oh, oh, fuck me! Oh. Rub your lies! Oh. All right, got out of prosecutor's office. We need that man, Miles Edgeworth. If there's anyone who can solve this case, it's him. <laughs> it's literally been ten seconds. You're already like, right, let's call the Ace fucking Edgeworth. I am needed. Hey, grab my next scarf. Grab my cravat. Grab it. Grab a cow. March 25th, 246 p.m. Gord Lake Park, audience area. I, I can actually tell the the font's close to the original, but it's not quite exact. It, like, it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit different. But yes, so the, that's right. The first game, we we uncovered the whole smuggling operation thing. And uh, it seems like this takes place like, like right after that. 
Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh wow, a whole audience just for Edgeworth? Word of this must have reached every corner of the world by now. Oh, I, hey, look, it's me again. I, I like the same exact spread from last time, I, I think. Assassination attempt on the president of the Republic of Zengfa. Okay, yeah, Zengfa was the, where Ling was from, right? So we are absolutely gonna see him in this game. There's no fucking way. It's me, my name is Mal Edgeworth, and I am a prosecutor, but you knew that already. I was asked to investigate this grave incident, but upon my arrival, Uh, 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 Mr. Edward, ah, uh, oh my god! <laughs> what the hell, you weren't even looking my direction. We've been waiting for you, sir. This man is Dick Gumshoe, and he sucks at his job. He's detective at the, the local precinct to assist, assist me on all cases under my jurisdiction. What is the president's current condition? Oh, he's fucking dead, sir. <laughs> he dead! I'm still not sir, 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 a bit of a tongue twister, sir. Paramax just entered this, his plane a few moments ago. I see, something too serious. Very well, detective, please show me around the crime scene. Right of that, sir. Uh. Hey, Mr. Smith, I'm begging you. Uh, oh. <laughs> what, what? Huh, what's this? The hell was that little green thing I saw? <laughs> oh, uh, okay, wait, are you a guy or a girl? Uh. Very rednecky sounding though. Mister, you're the prosecutor in charge around these parts, right? Can I ask you, let us, let us quit something queer quick, quick? I'm afraid I must refrain from commenting for now. Let's go, detective. Let's get away from this weirdo. Hey, wait, Mister Prosecutor. Hold on, Mister Edwards. Wait for me, sir. <laughs> Don't leave me behind me. <laughs> Why are you always running away from me, sir? Cause you smell funny. How many times I told you to watch that fucking coat of yours? Now the detective care fill me in on the details. <laughs> Any day now. Holy, oh my sexy bod. Oh, wow. That is a really firm fitting suit he's wearing. <laughs> Look how tight it, oh. Shows off his every fucking pectoral. I wanna do shots off that. Basically the whole thing happened here in Gord Lake Park. There's a big welcoming event for the, the President of the Republic of Zhang Fa. <laughs> wow, this guy looks like a mythological beast or something. It's like his hair and just his face, like a centaur. Zhang Fa President arrives for his visit. His plane lands in the Gord Lake today. The President of Zhang Fa, De, De Jun Wang, as I recall, newspapers and news programs were making quite a deal over his visit. Get in my pocket. Oh, look, there's my funny prosecutor badge. Looks like a ninja star. It rained a bit, but it stopped just before this plane landed. It came out, and all of a sudden, in the middle of a speech, boom, dead! <laughs> Bang, gunshot. I think it was. You think? What else could it be? You think it was a paintball gun that tore through his body? Truth is, I just got here as well, so I don't know all the details, sir. So you were also called here on short notice. Yep, and today was supposed to be my day off. Now I'm supposed to be at the high prosecutor's office. Preparing case for trial. Damn. Prosecutor asked for you personally, sir. I wonder if this won't be jumping around in time like a lot like the first game did. That one jumped all over the place. It's like a Quentin Tarantino movie. The chief prosecutor. The chief prosecutor was taking part in the welcoming event. Apparently the chief called out right after the, the incident occurred. Call prosecutor Edward. He's the only one who can solve this case. He said. Literally 10 seconds after he got shot. I see, so that's what happened. I am pretty awesome. After the incident, we sealed off the park right away. Which means the assassin is still in the park. Which means this will be perfect for our tutorial case. An assassin in this crowd, it's getting dangerous, sir. There's another incident these civilians could get in harm's way. It's a race against time, let's begin the investigation. First, <laughs> well, we'll know when we find the killer because he'll, he'll be the one that looks different from everybody else. Let's get the crime scene and gather some information. Precisely, using the power of logic. And connect four. No mistaking it, the president was targeted with a gun. Ah, get in my logic hole. Hmm, this is some, something I'll have to keep in mind. Uh, detaining up you. Where was security at the time of the gunfire? Uh, police were in charge of the guarding the park's perimeter. 
president was being protected by his own pers personal bodyguards. It's those guys over there. <laughs> why, why, don't, why don't you try talking to them, sir? I mean those two identical people right there. Talk to someone I had to press the A button while standing near them. Oh my god. Oh, such innovative game gameplay. I'm not sure I can grasp it. Actually, I think Edgeworth looks a little different, doesn't he? I think I do. I think I look, my upper body looks look, looks a lot bigger. I feel like, have I been working out? Oh yeah. I feel like I'm also wearing very, very tight fitting clothing. Mmm, look at that derriere right there. Mr. Edward, the bodyguards aren't over there. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, really? Really gotta hold me by the hand here, game, aren't you? Ah, good old, run, run, Edgeworth, run! Where the fuck is K anyway? Uh, what do you want? You want the president's bodyguards, correct? What was the president's security detail like during the speech? The president had, this, had his two best men by his side. The rest were stationed in the stage area. We are professionals. Are you, like, related? Nope, just total coincidence. Constantly kept our eyes on the crowd, scanning for any signs of suspicious activity. I see. In other words, security was flawless during the president's speech. Flawless. Let's keep going. We should talk to other people and examine anything suspicious. In order to collect the remaining pieces of information from the scene of the crime. Hmm? Uh. Oh. I see, so that's how you round up your info. So what do you do with all that info after it's squared away? Some of the crowd's making quite a ruckus, but I don't have time for that, that now. I have no time for ruckus this is. Is that, it sounds kind of like a lot of heart, but somehow even more annoying. Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, tell me how, please. You got it. After guys, a piece of information, you try to find the connections between them. Detective. <laughs> Hey now, don't be such a stick in the mud. Where's this about fine? What's this about fine connections? I have no idea if this voice is appropriate for this character because they haven't shown their fucking face yet. Connect two pieces of information that share a link. That's Mr. Edward's specialty. It's called logic, pal. Press L to use logic and X to connect my thoughts. Start by pressing the L button to. <laughs> okay, I get it already. Rah! Blah, 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 blah. Oh, good. Yes, here we go. Go for it. Connect thoughts! Ah, I miss doing that. Someone was able to fire a gun under flawless security, and they were able to avoid being spotted by professional bodyguards. This is no easy task. There had to be a certain amount of preparation beforehand. It's very likely the president's assassination was a premeditated crime. Swag nothing less from Mr. Edward. A brilliant logic, sir. I love you so much. Really, you, have to, you really have to capitalize the word logic? That's just a word. Yes, well, when you follow the facts and find the connection, find a connection, you will begin to see the truth. However, if the information does line up properly, I may stray farther from the truth. But if I think carefully before the pieces sleep together, the logic should flow, and I won't cause my HP bar to blow up. Get investigations. <laughs> Did I already do that, though? Okay, start by examining everything we can. To examine, I have to, I approach anything that looks suspicious and press A. This is just too much to take in. If I want to consult with scum, sure, I press Y, but so pretty much never gonna press Y. Uh, sir, where are you going, sir? Guess we be cam gum shoe, ha huh? Sir, not this again, sir, please. I feel like I'm running a lot slower than I used to. Apparently my big upper body has made me much slower. Can I get you stuck on that? I wanna see if I get stuck on this thing. How good is your AI gumshoe? Let's see. Sir, I'm I'm perfectly capable of running around, walking around a podium. I, oh, oh. Okay, it's kind of confusing actually. Oh, oh, this side, wait, oh, what's the easiest way? I, I don't know. Oh, ah. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I miss being Edgeworth. This is, oh my cravat. Yeah, I'm surprised too. No matter how you look at it, it's definitely, what, what am I looking at? What? Oh, the steel samurai. Oh my God, if that's Larry right there, I swear to God, all that's good and holy. No one will survive my wrath. The Steel Samurai Warrior of Near Old Tokyo, a hero from a popular TV program. Actually, you know what, you just hit me. I never even showed up in Apollo Justice. What the fuck? Wright showed up, but not me? What about me? Was I a dirty hobo too? Did I get disbarred? Have my own adventures going on? 
Guess we'll never fucking know! Actually, just, I wonder if, does Edward show up in anything else? Like any of the, like, like Dual Destinies or any of those? Does he, does he just, is this like the last game I show up in? Oh my god, this is the end of my career! I'm having a midlife crisis, ah! So this Samurai War of Near Old Tokyo, a hero from a popular TV program. Popular with both children and adults, has broad appeal. Why would they use a steel samurai balloon at the wit welcome event, sir? Perhaps he was chosen as the hero to represent our country. Won't rest till I've been- Yes! <laughs> yes, God, I, I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious looking nook and butthole. I still say this. Bad fucking tastic. I wonder if I'll have Larry flashbacks when I look at this. Bar seal samurai balloon. It looks so miserable. Indeed. What did it do to deserve enough fate? According to witnesses, a gunshot was heard when the balloon pop popped. The bullet from the gun hit the steel samurai balloon. Did it may pass through the balloon and hit the guy? It was assassination attempt on the steel samurai! Desecrate the steel samurai like this. This is a serious crime! This, uh, this shall not pass! Detective, we must not let this reprehensible repre assassin get away with this. Of course, sir. I'm gonna stick this whole balloon in my pocket now. It's flying of the Republic of Zeng Fa. Oh, it is. So it, it seems like the bullet went through the balloon and a flag and hit him. Really? How did, it, wasn't he looking down the sights? How the fuck did he know he was gonna hit the guy? Well, I got a whole bunch of shit in my way. <laughs> Better just fire the gun. <laughs> I was committed the whole time. Only I could pull off such bullshit. It's flying of the Republic of Zeng Fa. It's symbol appears to be a Phoenix motif. motif. Hmm, this is? Was it, sir? Have you noticed? There is an unusual spot on this flag. Compared to the flag on the flag on the opposite of the stage. Mm. There is no speck of dirt on it. This flag is spotless, sir. Yes. That is the, what the flag is supposed to look like. However, this one is spot. This one, there is one spot on this flag that is out of place. What? Where is it, sir? Please take place. I <laughs> I can understand. <laughs> wow, I'm sorry. Gumshoe, have you managed to somehow get dumber between games? I'm sorry. It's just, it's the first case of a game. Therefore, I'm stupid as shit. What, ha <laughs> what helpless man, I suppose I should point out to him. Move the cursor in the unusual spot and press the X button to present. Do it now. Do, oh, fuck, I missed. <laughs> Who's stupid now, sir? I'll see you spot. Ah, oh, oh, damn it. <laughs> I took. I got a little willy-nilly with my cursor movement there. You're giving me shit, sir. Shut up, Gumshoe. Yes, sir. I swear, this thing feels... <laughs> this thing moves a lot more quickly, I feel like, than it used to. I'm not crazy. There it is. There's a usual hole in this flag. Ah, you're right. Judging from the burn marks around the hole, it appears to be a bullet hole. A, a bullet hole? Burn marks? Did it... That means that they would have to have fired right next to the flag, right? The bullet from the gun must have gone through the flag! Hmm. I seem to have gathered a few pieces of pertinent information. Now to calmly use some logic to figure out if any of them are connected to each other. Probably and assertively yell and connect for people. Uh, okay, ruptured balloon, flag with a hole, all right. Go for it! Connect bull! It! Woo! As a result of the gunshots, there's a bullet hole in a flag and a ruptured balloon. That must mean two shots were fired, sir. Oh my God. If we include the shot that hit the president, it's possible that three shots were fired in total. No, it's also possible that the flag and the balloon were punctured by the same bullet. Only we could be certain about the number of gunshots. Invest wow, really? <laughs> Heal, Edgeworth. That was it? Man, this really is a tutorial case. Now then, let's continue the investigate. Hmm? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor! If you find anything new, could you please let me know? Will you hurry up and show your fucking face portrait already so I can figure out what the fuck voice I'm supposed to give you? I'm wondering for a while, but who exactly is that woman? Oh, that's a woman, god damn it. I thought she was just a nosy onlooker, but it looks like she's investigating too. Uh. Hey, please, I'm, ba I'm begging you. God dang it, I already have a southern sounding girl a lot of heart. Unless you're, what are you, unless you're related. In order to figure out how many shots were fired, 
We'll need to talk to a witness. Can't be helped. Let's try talking to her. Oh, there we go, finally. You don't look anything like your dialect there. You look like a city slicker, not a su uh, country bumpkin. Ah. Uh, well, then again, she does have a she does have a bear trap on the side of her backpack there. She's still high tech. I fly. Is this the IKEA right there on the bottom left? Some goofy sounding music here. Da na 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 <laughs> I imagine someone like remixing like a whole bunch of sound bites of, of gumshoe. <laughs> but sir, but sir, no, no, not my paint. No, no, sir. Uh, I, guess, I don't know. That doesn't seem right at all, but based on what your, how it was written, it seems like. Ah, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, name's Nicole Swift. Oh, I was like, I saw it was like, Nico. Oh, Nicole Swift. Okay. And if she's got a, oh, if you got a microphone. It doesn't seem right now. You sound more like a. If you're gonna be like a reporter, I can. The name's Nicole Swift. Just between you and me, this case is gonna be my exclusive scoop. Exclusive? Mrs. Miss Swift, is it? Could you please tell me the way. Uh, oh. So has your best. This is he's written like it, so. God dang it. Do I have to create another lot of heart voice? How's your best case coming along? Y'all y'all got a suspect yet? Where'd you get that that friendly doohickey around you? <laughs> okay, I'm very southern and sounded Hold now. It. Hold it! Could you please stop talking for a moment? I'll be the one asking the questions. Don't make me finger you. What is this in what is this interrogation? I reckon I was gonna get myself an interview. I'd like to know how many gunshots were fired. Can you please tell me what you saw? Well, I guess. I ain't telling you nothing. What? Depends on I ain't giving it up that easily. Don't be selfish, pal. Will you, will you please cooperate with us? Selfish? If you ain't got gonna share no info with me, then I'ma go get it elsewhere. Wait a minute, pal. If I, if I wait, are you gonna give me what I want? If not, adios, amigos. Wow. <laughs> You're a bigger ball buster than a lot of heart. She won't budge. We're a stalemate here, sir. A stalemate. I wonder about that. Hmm, my finger smells funny. What do you mean, sir? As you know, chess is one of my hobbies. Cause I'm a nerd. What does one go on the offense against a defensive opponent? There are many tactics available on the chessboard. R really? I don't know much about chess. For checker, sir. If it appears to be flawless defense, there is always an opening. Sir, as I break down her defenses with my words. <laughs> now, defend yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, what's he doing? Unleashing Edgeworth noises. Blah, 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 blah. In order, to, <laughs> in order to get her to talk, I'll need to use the right strategy. Using the image of a chess game, I need to stay one step ahead of my opponent. Ooh, doodly doodly. Whoa, holy, whoa. Okay, hello, this is new. Now then, let's analyze the situation. Do you give me some info my, my trap so you should? Holy shit, whoa. We really are going chess here. She has her guard up, so this is her defensive strategy. If I waste too much time, she may grow impatient. I need to pay attention to the time limit. Uh, okay. I wasn't expecting new shit, honestly. Must not be careless with my words. When my opponent becomes agitated or aggressive. I told you I ain't talking, you stubborn as mute. For example, during times like this, I should calmly wait and see how things play out. The moment my opponent shows an opening, I'll be able to strike. Banana! For I am purple lightning, hear me roar. First, I should ask about her identity. Now, let's begin. Logic chess. Big oh fuck, all right, all right, cool, let's do some new shit. Uh, first, could you tell me your occupation? No way, if I told you, then you'd not get the wrong idea. The wrong idea? In other words, it's a job that you, that you cannot tell others about. I, I'd never say that I ain't got some kind of suspicious person. Uh, okay, she's not talking, so. Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered. Ah! Huh? What's going on with you? I don't get what you're saying at all! 
Ah, that was a needless statement. Shit, I, <laughs> all right, I didn't totally understand that. All right, when the opponent is at, oh. I must calmly wait and see. When they let their guard down, I must hesitate to strike. Uh, okay, all right. Let's try that again. Back it up, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I see. I don't actually wait and see. I like just sit there and wait. I have to click wait and see. I'm just a run of the mill bottom of South Susan. So please excuse, excuse my rudeness. I did not mean to offend you. I may not know the details of your job, but I'm sure there is a re it is a reputable one. <laughs> well, you might be giving me too much credit there. I ain't done a major part of models yet. Oh, ha! I heard you mention. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at me floating a little pawn in front of me. Ah, uh, telekinesis. <laughs> Edgeworth Kinesis. Ah, 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 ah. I heard you mentioned articles just now. Does your job involve writing articles by any chance? Ah! Ow! What the hell? You broke my chest piece. Dang, nabba doodle, dang it. Ah, that's right. I'm an investigative reporter. I bona fide up the coming news journalist. Oh, great. You're a lot of heart too, pretty much. I see you're a reporter. <laughs> she may already have some information about the case. This will be my next line of questioning. Oh, heal, heal, Edgeworth. That's where the real battle begins. I need to draw out even more information from her. This is actually kind of interesting, though. This is a, I like that they, I, I like how they decided to mix it up a bit. Did you witness the incident? Content of your coverage. You said that you are a reporter. Did you come here to gather news material? If you want to know that bad, give me some info first. No, you first. No, you go first. Show me what you've gathered. Oh, Spencer, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Maybe I should try another line of attack. Oh, okay. Did you witness the incident? Were you present at the, the time the incident occurred? Hey, Mr. Prosecutor, how about you? Some of that info you promised me. No, ladies first, I insist. I told you my traps is shut. You ain't getting my info that easily. Wait and see. Wait. Mmm, ellipses. Taste my ellipses. It's my livelihood here. Please, I'm begging you. Please, don't let me die. You stick your head in too deep. You may be putting yourself in danger. I, I'm pro after all. A few gunshots. Don't scare me. Oh. A few gunshots. You heard gunshots. Ah, oh, now, Edgeworth Pawn, ha! I'll admit you're de dedicated to your job. However, you still have much to learn. The fact that you heard the gunshots clearly means that you were present during the incident. You must have seen something. Now, taste this, Super Edgeworth Pawn shot! Ow, what the, ah! B -b Bust it again, god dang. Just have to be here covering the speech. And that's when it all went south. That's all I swear. I ain't seen another word. She was here to write an article about the speech. She should still have the material she's gathered for her article. Hmm, this could be a useful clue. All right. You said that you are a reporter. Let me try using the clue. All right. Oh, I brought up a knight. Get him, horsey. Are you telling me you came here to gather material and you left empty handed? You still have the materials you collected with you. Now eat horsey powers. Ah! That, that's a darn too novel pro. I collect info with my own two feet. Two feet? What the fuck? So I ain't giving it up when I fight. As prosecutor in charge of this case, I am making a serious plea for your cooperation. Don't you mess with me. I ain't handing over that spot. Now watch and wait. Intently, hmm, wait for them to fuck it up for me. Please understand where I'm coming from, Mr. Prosecutor. Being a reporter is a tough job, isn't it? Ah, uh, so you're finally getting me. How's your job performance been? Um, well, um, I'm always trying to be the best reporter I can be. The here, take reporter. I always carry it by my side. God, you guys are making this too fucking easy to me. Let's listen to the tape. Oh, oh, silly little bugger. I wag my finger at you. I see. If you're trying to be the best reporter that you can be, 
All right, wait for it, wait for it, right? Then it would be unnatural for you to not have collected any new, any news material. You recorded on your tape recorder, didn't you? Didn't you? Bah! The information regarding this case. Ah! Oh! I go dog dog it, dog on it. There we goes my exclusive scoop. <laughs> I like the little bear trap, like clamp down. That's right, I have it on my tape recorder. All the information I record from my articles right here. Huh? Checkmate, motherfucker! Oh! Logic chess! Complete! Bad fucking ass! And you thought I was only gonna connect four, Nico. I know, goddamn. I'm good at every every board game imaginable. That's amazing, Mr. Prosecutor. Before I knew you, you don't have me chattering like a chipmunk. Let me hear what you have to have on that tape recorder. Give it to me. But if I listen to the tape, I should be able to determine the exact number of gunshots. Fine, but I, I won't let you have for free. Other than my mentor, you're the only person to push me this far. In other words, you're gonna give me be my second mentor. Yep, that's how it's gonna be. Oh, you are abs my mentor. Oh God, Rolla Hart was a reporter, right? No, she was. She she was always talking about getting her next scoop. You were totally somehow related to her. God damn it! I don't want to be your mentor. I see. It's kind of like a second home, sir. And I got one more request. A 24-hour exclusive interview. Please, Mr. Prosecutor. It's my first and final request to your apprentice. <laughs> your first and final request. This is difficult to, to accept, but unless I agree to it, I will be able to listen to the to the tape. 24-hour, what the fuck? What if I need to go to the bathroom? <laughs> nope, 24 solid straight hours. No eating, no sleeping, no pooping. 24 hours out of the question, but I will grant you an interview after we solve this case. Well, what about being my second mentor? Also out of the question. One goofy sidekick is enough for me. No, oh, don't be so ornery. Well, I guess you'll take, take what you get. It's all for the sake of my new scoop. Time to get the ball rolling. Let's keep getting our exclusive coverage. Well, then, Miss Swift, please begin the playback of the tape recorder for me. Give me that thing. Click. Our dear friends, this is a reason for my visit. A few days ago, a smuggling ring that has long plagued my nation was exposed and crushed. All by an amazing man, Edgeworth. Ah, oh, yes, thank you, thank you. I'm. I see. This was the president's speech. Click. The president. Oh, the president passionately addresses the crowd. Oh, he's deflating. The the rumor is flying around about a recent decline in its approval ratings. Oh, that, that, oh. This, this is my own commentary. I try to create the feeling of actually being there. Huh? Wait, what? Going to the schedule is a meeting after this. You seem quite pleased that the, the Otto Grasso incident has, uh, has been resolved. Uh, what? Oh, like she's actually there talking to him or something? Of course, it's a great honor for us as well. Oh, whose voice is this? Too many question marks. Who's for the folks standing in front of me? I reckon it was two older men. They kept on whispering to each other. Where have I heard this voice before? Oh, the gunshot's coming up. Click. The president raises his fists in the air. The atmosphere is boiling to a fever pitch. However, the battle is not, it's still not over. I declare here and now, the hammer of justice shall be brought down upon all evil. Ah! What a tarnation! Whoa, 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 whoa! All right, so we had two gunshots. Seems that two shots were fired. Hey, what do you reckon? Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> it's quite simple, really. Using the bullet's trajectory, we can deduce its flight path. Two shots were fired. One bullet hit the president. That means the other shot left a hole in the flag and punctured the balloon. Do you understand now? Location of the, the perpetrator who fired the gun. Bullet that struck the, both the flag and the balloon was fired from here. Uh, Take that. Over here? Yeah. By connecting the bullet marks for the flag and the, and the balloon, we learn the bullet's trajectory. But I don't understand then. So they, so he fired that, oh, so he fired the first shot there, and then the second, why would he shoot that, though? It's like the bullet was fired from the left side of the audience area. Okay. 
So I expect for Mr. Edward. Tiny Gumshoe, I would li like to investigate the left side of the audience area. Yes, sir. Wait, you mean we have to move all these pe all these people? Yes, there's no time. We'll be losing vital evidence for every second we let, we let slip by. We must hurry. Yes, sir. Mentor number two. Uh, hey, mentor number two. Swift, I assume you at are addressing me. What's this mentor number two? It's my time to shine. Oh, an expert at crowd dispersal. Light the torches and release the hounds right now. Uh, I appreciate your help, but please do not use those methods. <laughs> please do not murder my witnesses. Also, please stop addressing me as your mentor. I never agree to that position. Hey, I'll try to keep that in mind, mentor. I'll be Mr. Prosecutor. Uh, uh, I told you I already have a goofy sidekick. I don't need another one. Get out of my way, you dumb people. Mr. Edward, we're ready to begin the investigation, sir. Uh, Miss Swift here was all over the ground. Help, help us round him up, sir. Hey, this ain't nothing compared to my first mentor's mob wrangling skills. Do you be used to this sort of thing? Huh. I feel like you've got to be related to a lot of heart in some way. Uh, however, Miss Swift, all that running around seems to have caused your clothes to be covered with mud. I'll take care of that, the, the cleaning bill, if you like. Eh? Oh, oh, you talking about my parka? Don't you worry, you'll flip it. a little hair about it. It's personal, so you can just flip it around later and it's good as new. That won't do much for mud stains, though. <laughs> Not Edward, though. Now I am spotless at all times. Oh, Mr. Edward, let's restart the investigation, sir. Brown has made a mess of the crime scene. Hope some traces of the criminal are still left behind. I see a flag right by my feet. All right, be investigation. What is this thing? Look at it. Or, or not. Y'all gonna need to go through the garbage? You you prosecutors get a tough job. Dead gum shoe, go through the garbage. <laughs> ah, damn it, sir. Right away, sir. <laughs> you already smell bad. So let's take the job to go through the trash. Prosecutors don't want to dirty their hands. Pretty much, yep. Uh, let's see, uh, hope find something good. Oh, it's half eaten bagel. Give me that. Come here, Mr. <laughs> no, I need, please, give me that. I haven't eaten in three days. Sir! Sir! <laughs> you never catch me, Gumshoe! Dagger seems to be a bloom too eager about searching. Searching through the trash. I'm pretty used to it by now, sir. This is a winning popsicle stick! Detective! Sorry, sir. Uh, let's see, uh, something related to the case. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, how about this gun? Is there anything? No, no, I don't think so. Look what I found, sir. Yes, good work. Let's have a closer look. Is that a fanny pack? It's got duty in it. I need to view this object from various angles to uncover the truth hidden within. Yes, sir. Just give me the word, and I'll spin the evidence round, round. <laughs> Hold the R and use the D-pad to move it. An amazing 3D technology. I'll just zoom in or zoom out. I'll, I'll move the industry. <laughs> I was just like, imagine Gumshoe standing there holding it, holding the bag and just like spinning in circles and moving it towards Edward's face. Now, zooming in, Gumshoe. Yes, sir. Closer. Closer. <laughs> Not right in my face, Gumshoe. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Now, all right. Now, dance for me, Gumshoe. Dance for me. <laughs> Press the X button to zoom in and the Y button to zoom out. Investigate every fine demon detail. As an suspicious lead, let me us know immediately, sir. The cursor to a spot interesting. Press A button to investigate it. But which case I will point, take my massive finger and poke it right in there. Ah, sir. Ah, oh, you're stabbing with your finger, sir. Ah. All right, let's give it a try. Ah, whoa, ah. Oh, wait. Oh, there we are. Oh, I will find some way to open this bag. How can I do it? Uh, <laughs> oh, there's the gun. It's a document of some sort. Actually, is that showing chess pieces on the board? Or on the on the paper? That's pretty damn impressive. They uh they actually went in and translated the piece of paper, too. So that means they, they probably went in and redrew it with English words. Good on you, Mr. Fan Translation Guy. Let's see, present security detail. Here's our plans for the present security, sir! Yes, I can fucking read, Gumshoe. Fix the security layout. Say, so pay extra attention to the lake area. Rook takes Knight Knightley's place. Leader Rook, Lieutenant Knightley. In case of an emergency, Knightley will lead the president inside the plane. A terrorist in the audience, we can't be... Our names are written here on here, sir. 
can't be certain there isn't an isn't one. Brook and Knightley. Hmm. Bodyguards are not from the Republic of Saint Fa. Seems that the president hired a local security firm. Why didn't he use the police force of Zeng Fa? You wanna know the reason? That's another big scoop. Did you know something? Do you know something about it? I was just a Zeng Fa MC the other day, fixing me and giving me some news material. That's when I heard. It sounds like the past president's got plenty of enemies. He also don't get along too well with those top press of Zeng Fa police. I see. Doesn't even trust the people of his own country. Hmm. This could be related to the assassination attempt. So in my pocket you go. Security plans. I like, I like how out of everything in there, the first thing I grab is, is not the gun, but the piece of paper. <laughs> I know this argument be in the back. That is strange indeed. It concerns the safety of the, the president. Normally it would be un, under tight security. Hmm, it's back. Oh, something else in there, sir. Yes, duh, gumshoe, fucking duh. Oh, wow. This is, ah. Uh, it's a lighter! No, no, I'm sure, no, boo! <laughs> it's a gun, sir! Stewart! Could this bag have belonged to the. No, 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 no. Indeed, it's possible that the assassin may have thrown it away. It's a revolver for something like this to appear in a place like this. Is this the work of a pro professional assassin? Must we use that document to carry out the crime, sir? It's a revolver. I will need to expect every nook and butthole of it. Ah, oh, hello there. I see you, bullets. Come on. Kameda really was here. <laughs> uh, uh, this gun fired two bullets. That matches the number of gunshots heard. Especially the worm. Better weapon, sir. Okay, uh, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look down right, right into the barrel of this gun here. Hmm. Gumshoe, put your, stick your eye, eyeball on this. Okay, sir, if you say, ah, 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 I got you. This is a laser pointer. It's an implement you attach to a gun to help you aim with the laser, sir. I know, I've played games before. Just press here and, but ah, it's firing red laser, sir. Oh, oh, it's hitting me, ah. He has to use this laser pointer to target the president. My God. All right, roll over data. Bags Brados, lots of useful evidence. Dumps your diving really paid off, sir. Good work, Technic, I have one more request. Please tell the forensics team to check the gun and, and the bag for fingerprints. Can I also eat this half-eaten corn dog, sir? No, no meals until you finish your duty, Gumps you. Damn it, sir. Yes, sir. I'm so hungry, sir. If we obtain fingerprints, it would be a huge breakthrough in our investigation. We got the results back, sir. That, that was fast, Jesus. Guards! I made them dub double time it. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't find any fingerprints, sir. Are well, you certain you did, you did a thorough search? I mean, it was literally like five seconds. Of course, we combed every inch. We took out the bullets and examined them, sir. It's expected, this won't be easy. Damn. Oh, what in the fuck are you doing? It's, <laughs> it's a terrible incident indeed, Mr. Adware. <laughs> Max Payne, what the fuck are you doing here? Who is this man again? <laughs> I show up in all the tutorial missions. Hey, you sound a lot like me. Hey, no, you sound like me. No, you de you're definitely the one that sounds like me, all right? I show up in every case. You only show up at the, the beginning and then you get tossed away. Didn't you used to have hair at some point? <laughs> I was Payne, willing to assist as a prosecutor. He's a prosecutor? Why'd you come here today? Ah, 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 ah. I accompany the chief prosecutor. His voice sounds like, like the one that I heard on the, the tape earlier. Oh. See, the one of the men standing in front of is Swift. Where is the chief now? Chief's a busy man. He had a special permission to leave the premises. The chief called me here and then left by himself. I'm not completely satisfied with this. Hmm. Hmm. Hello there. You're with the television crew, are you not? Oh, um, that's, that's right, but, uh... Then you must have recorded the speech. I'd like to see the footage. Yes, um, about that. That will be difficult. What was that, pal? It's your duty is to cooperate with the investigation. After the incident, the guest knocked over the TV camera in the paddock. All the footage was lost. 
there was any footage left, it could have been vital evidence. Damn. Yeah, that's too bad, sir. Uh. Ha 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 What? What was that? Who was that dastardly fiend laughing at me? Uh. Looks like you're in a jam, Mr. Edgeworth. That voice, could it possibly be? Uh, all right, let, let's take a guess here. Uh, oh wait, is it K? It's gotta be K. It is! K! Hey! Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> hey, Mr. Edgeworth! <laughs> Long time to see Mr. Edgeworth, the hero of justice. K Faraday is here to save the day. Stop smelling your finger, that's my thing. Hero, I guess she wouldn't refer to herself as a heroine. So have you given up on this great thief business yet? Nope, I haven't stopped. I'm just on vacation. I'm still training in, trying to become the second Yadagarasu. About two weeks ago, wow, two, two weeks, wow, damn. It, it really hasn't been long since the first game. The girl became involved in one of my cases. Mysterious Phantom Thief, the Yadagarasu. Case of a gentleman thief who steals the truth for the sake of justice. Turned out to be detective motherfucking bad. The second most badass fucking detective in the world. I think he has that, he ties that with Key Gary. What about me, sir? No, you're fucking useless to me. This girl's success, successor to that great thief. He put a locker or a tire rope, leave it to me. But since I'm still in training, I haven't actually stolen anything yet. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, you ding dong? It's obvious I wanted to join in the festivities. She does seem to have a fondness for these kinds of events. Afterwards, I thought I'd come meet up, meet up with you guys. Well, we're glad to see you. Looks like you've been doing well, pal. It's been well, Gummy. I'm so glad. I'm glad you're well too. It's only been two weeks, for God's sakes. Hey, you said earlier that you could help me out. Yeah, please, don't, please don't be surprised, Mr. Edgeworth. I took a photo that captures the exact moment of the crime. I see. You show me it, show it to us at once. Same as usual, I see. Can't you act even a little surprised? Nope, don't care, just give it to me. Yeah, that's prosecutor's always in a sound mood. He even got knowing when I called him my second mentor. Oh, by the way, I'm Nicole Swift, up and coming investigative reporter. Nice to meet you, Nicole. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth's really... Enough idle chit chatter. Stop talking about how amazing I am. Any you please just show us that fucking photo? Here. Ah. And so, blah, blah, blah. Oh boy. Hey, that guy to the. Does that guy to the right look kind of like Safari guy? It's a photo. Photo I took right at the moment of the gunshot. It was awful. Everyone in the audience was running in panic. This photo depicts the, the president and his two bodyguards. Judging from the names written on the security plan, uh, plan these, these two must be Rook and Knightley. I see. Okay. Huh, that's weird. The two guys I saw earlier were, were bald and had a mustaches. What's this? Thank you, Kay. This will be a very important clue. Oh, you got that job. Look, look in your eyes. Did you find something, Mr. Prosecutor? In this photo, there is a contradiction. This photo, I don't see nothing. If you don't understand, then I'll show you. The scene captured in the photo and the, the evidence I have on hand. By comparing the two, I'll find the contradiction. It's time for my deductive skills to come into play. First, I find the spot that upholds the contradiction. Ah! Uh, oh, once I found the contradiction, I press the X button with the conviction. Ah! Right on his face. Then I present the evidence that contradicts the spot. Oh, see, that's the laser, right? Eureka! Eureka! This is what this, this newspaper contains a photograph of the president. Oh. Let you pair with the photo, the photo K took in the scene. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't really. Okay, so I'm putting it like insanely obvious that the little dot on his head isn't normally supposed to be there. Really? Uh, he doesn't normally walk around with a giant red dot in his head. Like he's from India. Ma, uh, what do you mean? Oh, that's right. There's something on the president's forehead that wasn't there before. Who would have? Man, I... it's like. It's like they, they make it so like it's like something this should be so obvious that it's like you're like you don't even think of it. It's like you would have figured we already knew that though. What do you expect? A fucking tutorial mission, Nico. Is that a mole? 
<laughs> it sort of looks like a red mole. Oh, come on. You both can't be this stupid. I don't even can't believe I have to tell you this. That's full as hard to believe that a mole would pop out of thin air like that. Maybe a bug bit him, sir. I'm gonna bite you in a second. That all? I thought you wanted something. Turns out it's just be itty bitty bug bite. Holy shit, you, did you all eat paint chips when you were kids or something? Good God. If you're talking with such a serious look on your face, I'll get all excited. Huh, no way to do the truth. Always begins with the small contradictions. Ooh, that's a great way of putting it. I'll be using that for my article. Okay, get in my pocket. Oh, come on, can I just say what it is? Oh, here we go. Red, red mole laser pointer, go for it! Connect fucking duh! I saw the red, the red, mystery of the red mole. Ah, you mean it's not a big, a big bug bite, sir? It's only like a bug bite or an itchy rash. Like the one I have in my butt right now. This light is from the laser pointer. I mean, a gun was aimed at the president's forehead. And right after that, the second gunshot was heard. That's certainly more than just an itch, itch sir. Indeed, I'm concerned for the, the president's well-being. It's got more and more likely this gun was the weapon used in the attack. All right. Why the colonel use a laser pointer, sir? That's right. This, they would have had a beam of light shining from their hands. Pew, 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 pew. Way too conspicuous. If you follow the path of the laser, you will find out who fired the shot. That's not good at all. Oh yeah, I also took some, some other photos. Maybe the, li the light from the laser pointer was captured on those. It's a long shot, but there may be a chance. Okay, can you show us, uh, us those photos? Are you like stalking me or something? Like, <laughs> like why were you out in the bushes taking pictures? Oh, you got me, Mr. Edward. I'm, my, I'm your stalker now. Oh, great. He's in the bushes like, get out of the way, whippersnapper. Ah, oh, what the hell? You're hogging all the Edgeworth action. Give me that camera. Oh God, I smell it. Old bag is near. Coming right up. We're seeing the photo from the, before the incident. <laughs> I was taking a selfie. Your face is taking up most of the frame. <laughs> I wanted to get a two shot of, of me and the president. Just taking a little before the gunshots. Here's the one I showed you before. This was right after the first gunshot. And immediately after that, a second gunshot rang out. And then... What is this? You can't really see much in this photo. At the last photo, one of the, the running guests knocked me down. Uh, uh, ah. Looks like the shutter clutches then. Does that look too awful, pal? Uh, can I see, do I see anything? Do I see something on the ground there? By that guy's foot? Well, those were all the photos I took. I'd like to examine these in a bit more detail. In this case, which photo? Uh, before the incident, moment of the incident, after the incident. Oh, there it is. Right there, before the incident. Where can I light? Where can the light from the laser port be seen? Right there, baby. <laughs> the guy in the red hoodie. I found it. What? Just look in front of this person in the red hood. Ah, there. Yes, that's probably the light from the, the laser pointer. That red hood person? would be the assassin. There's Waldo. We did it, so thanks to me, right? Right, as expected, the great thief has stolen the truth. <laughs> By total fucking accident. Perhaps the criminal could also be seen in the fo other photos. Let me examine these photos one more time. Okay, let's get which photo. Uh, after the incident. Oh. There they are. Take that. I see you. Ah, oh, there! The red hooded assassin. Looks like they're escaping in the panic. Looks like escaping in the panic, sir. We see the direction they ran in. Ah, oh, the samurai dog banner! I love samurai dogs! Right, the assassin escaped towards the right side of the audience area. Turning up shoe! Got it, sir! I've got 10 samurai dogs for you here, sir! No, not the dogs, the fucking killer! Let's well, get the right, right side of the audience area! I'm getting on you. Don't you dare fail me, Gumshoe. And leave those samurai dogs. Ooh, creepy. The red hooded assassin. Since the park was sealed off, there, there's nowhere they could have run to. If we follow the trail, we'll definitely catch them. Now then, let's continue with the, the investigation. 
we find some trust in the assassin. All right, run, everyone, follow me. Oh, I won't rest until I'm expecting every nook and little puddle. Oh, hello. This is, it's a red button, sir. Could this be from the red hoodie guy, I guess? Oh, oh, there's a hoodie underneath on, underneath it. So come, here, come here, release the person in the red hood. I see you. There's something red down there. Pentagon shoe, please check underneath the, the food stall. Something stuck down, down here, let's see. Mm. Ah, it's a red raincoat. Could this be? The assassins. Here's that he got rid of his raincoat before he ran away. I bet it was, I bet it was Max Payne. I bet he fucking did it. That's right, I'm going to jail, sir. <laughs> Sleeve, it's inside out. It's also missing a button. Ah, oh, there we go. Now, one, two, three, go for it. Connect button. Da! Looks like the fallen button came from the raincoat. It probably fell off when the, the assassin took off the raincoat. If you look closely, you can see that the right, right sleeve is inside out, sir. It appears they took it off in a hurry. The button was probably torn off. After shooting the, the president, the assassin disposed of the gun in the bag in the garbage bin. Then during the panic, they moved from the, the left to the right side of the audience area. But it actually led us to suspect someone who was in, on the left side of the audience area. The assassin then took off the, the raincoat and hid it under the stand. The assassin was in a hurry to, to remove the raincoat. That's why their, their size of the right sleeve was hastily removed. Also explains why the button was torn off. That's the case. Why is the left sleeve not in the same state? Ah, the sleeve is, is it inside out. On the contrary, the button is still tightly fixed. What do you mean, sir? To find, to find the answer, we must examine the raincoat in detail. I like to investigate the inside of the raincoat. Did I go? Did I go? Shoot. Got it, sir. I will not dirty my hands with peasant, this peasant work. Oh. Is it blood? This is. A blood stain. This is my location. This is most likely the assassin's own blood. So we're looking for someone who's injured, sir. I'm sending injury detective. An injury on their left arm. What, what, what do you mean, sir? The criminals are hurried to take off their coat. That's why the right sleeve is inside out. On the other hand, the left side sleeve remains unchanged. How did this difference arise? Quite simply, the assassin couldn't get his arm through the, le the left sleeve. If you think it like that, it all starts to add up. Furthermore, a blood stain was found on the left side of the raincoat. I see. He couldn't get his injured arm to fit, fit through the sleeve. It all makes sense. Yes, indeedly doodly. I'd say the possibility is quite high. What was he injured from? It's all coming together. Investigation complete. Heal Edgeworth. Hey, Gumshoe, I want you to pull out, pull out our assassin out of the crowd. Right that, sir. Oh, with an injured left arm, right? Ah, I'm gonna get him, sir. You must have good head on your shoulders if you did see, did, if you did see through me, Mr. Gaskuda. Find the assassin with only that much evidence should shouldn't be a problem at all. That's sir Edgeworth. Yeah, I am the best. I'm the best around. None's gonna keep Edgy down. With everyone in the park sealed in, the assassin should still be within the crowd. I'm counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. Where the fuck do we put the crowd anyway? March 20, 25th, 327 p.m. Gord Lake audience area. Stairworth, found a suspicious person in, the con in that condition, sir. That's gotta be the assassin. Okay, we haven't proven that this person is the assassin yet. For now, this is just a person of interest. Don't jump to conclusions. Got it, I'll control myself. So that this, tar that this is the guy who targeted the president, sir. <laughs> it's a daring person to target someone's life in front of an audience. Detective, bring him here, Curtis, courteously. Yes, sir. Hey, you guys, bring him here. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Hey, dude, it's uh that guy, <laughs> and he's got a little ice cream goat. Oh, de, de killer? That's yeah, that's or de killer. Uh, dude, you were in. It was in the Arden Guard case, right? From Justice for All. 
Oh, dude, no way. I didn't think I'd see you again. <laughs> this little funny ice cream coat. He's not carrying an umbrella. His left arm is bandaged. He is, well, this guy is an assassin. You there, say your name. Uh, oh shit, what, did, what did voice did I give him? My name is John Doe. John Doe, that's an unusual name. <laughs> that is correct. This man, have I seen him somewhere before? Hmm, I was around during that, that uh, whole incident, wasn't I? Prosecutor Edgeworth. You know my name? Yes, I've been observing your investigation. May I ask why you've called me here? We are searching for the assassin who attempted to murder the president. Do you recognize this red raincoat? I'm terribly sorry, but I'm afraid I do not. I believe that this raincoat belongs to the assassin. Oh my, this is terrible indeed. This person should also have a se severe injury on their left side of their body. Precisely like yours. I have no relation to this. Oh, stare down, motto, motto. It's like they're firing laser beams out of their eyes. Laser, laser action, go. <laughs> so, uh, what happened next? What happens next? Obviously a confrontation, pal. A battle of wits between two gentlemen. Should I hear his explanation? No, don't hear it. Of course I do. What, what, why would I say no? This might lie or misunderstand. If you find a contradiction in their statement, you present evidence, pal. Yes, and I pressed the R button by doing that, and then other things to make that happen. And if you don't find the contradiction, what do you do then? At those times, you press the witness for, for more details. Press, I press the L button. Like a smart person does. All right, sir, can you please give us a demonstration, please? Go, Mr. Prosecutor, you are America's best. Yes, Japaniformia, the greatest place on Earth. She just won't quit. Mr. Doe's testimony. I understand the person in the raincoat is suspicious. However, that doesn't mean that he was injured. I don't suppose you have proof. Clearly, my left arm is injured, but I could still use my right arm. When it was raining, I used the um an umbrella. I have no need for a raincoat. You didn't wear a raincoat. That's your claim. Yes, not everyone uses a raincoat for protection against the rain. I'm an umbrella person, after all. I'm definitely a raincoat person. Umbrellas will hinder your movement. Well, uh, I don't use raincoats or umbrellas. So come bring the snow all I need is my trusted Parker. This wasn't what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> I hope you understand. I am not the assassin. Fortunately, leading a testimony and examine goes against my principles. Oh, how troublesome. How the fuck is that thing staying on there? Oh, oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting I to do, do that. <laughs> Please excuse the, the panic earlier. My wound seems to have reopened. There's <laughs> no mistaking it. That owner of this raincoat is the assassin. Yeah, that auto scroll, by the way. Furthermore, the owner has an injured left arm. It's totally this fucking asshole. And I'd say as I've seen him before. So no, I shall reveal your true colors for all to see. So no's testimony. All right. Okay, I understand the person in the raincoat is suspicious. However, that doesn't mean that he was injured. I don't suppose you have proof. Uh, yeah, right here. Objection! Yeah, there we are. Oh, silly little gooberhead. Silly tutorial gooberhead. Mr. Doe, you seem to be a very cautious person. However, today seems to be different because you left this list behind. You must be mistaken. That doesn't belong to me. Or perhaps you have evidence that proves otherwise. So, Doe, is your injury all right? The wound seems to have opened. Indeed, it is quite troublesome. Oh, I see. <laughs> it sticks in his mouth. Wow, wow. Damn, that is some seriously solid ice cream you have there. How's that, how is that cherry not falling off yet? Oh, it's, it looks kind of like him too. It's got one cherry on the side like his little monocle. And the little line down the middle. <laughs> That's adorable. It's like a is that like a little mini cone attached to it? Yes, I'm sure it is. You have my deepest sympathies. Wait, how how the fuck did you manage to like wipe off the blood off that off that fabric cast anyway? After all, you would have es escaped and had your wounds not opened up. What do you mean? There is no mistaking that the one who tore this Renko was injured, and I can prove that person was you. With this, 
<laughs> oh, oh, that's clever. A little, a little ice cream is sweating now. Oh, your ice cream doth protest too much. On the inside of this raincoat, there is a small blood stain. It's the blood of the assassin. <laughs> oh my god. I gotta say, I would, it's probably one of the best things about the Ace Attorney games is just the, the number of creative expressions they give to the characters. He's totally unfazed, but the little ice cream is freaking out. Back in the present, a serious crime, pal! You'll cause an international incident! No matter how long you keep silent, your true nature will come to light. A blood test will settle this. Blood from the raincoat and the blood from your bandaged arm. I have all the evidence I need. Why don't you just admit it? You're the assassin who attacked the president. I'm not the assassin. You, do, you don't know when to give up. This was a game of chess. You would have been checkmated a long time ago. Speaking of which, I bet you're defeat gracefully. Seems completely unfazed. Eh? I suppose I have no choice. I'll admit it. Indeed, the raincoat is mine. Professor! Rest it! Rest it! However, that does not mean I shot the president. What's that, pal? Prosecutor Edgeworth, all you have proven is that I wore the raincoat. What sort of crime is that? I'll show you! Stowe's Testimony Part 2. I am no assassin. I'm just a simple ice cream salesman. All I did was put on the raincoat and listen to the president's speech. It surprised me to see the bodyguards take action just before the gunshot rang out. Everyone in the audience immediately tried to escape, creating a state of panic. Are you satisfied this time? This toy's getting fishy by the minute. He's really suspicious. Glaring at me won't help. We've got evidence. <laughs> Here, look at this guy in the red coat. That's gotta be the, re the assassin. I see. That is certainly not me. What? The prosecutor Edgeworth, please consider this carefully. Was I really the only one who wore a red raincoat? Whether he was, was or not, the person in the photo can only be Mr. Doe. But why? This man's self his confidence and intensity. So, testimony part deuce! No assassin, I'm just a simple ice cream salesman. Do was put on the raincoat and listen to the president's speech. It's rather to see the bodyguards take action just before the gunshot rang out. Hold it! So the bodyguards reacted before the gunshot went off. Yes, the bodyguards move first. The one on the left side of the stage, in particular. You saw it all quite clearly. I have good eyesight. Says the guy with the monocle. The names are written on the left or left, or left of the security plan. The bodyguard on the left side would be Mr. Rook? That is correct. A Mr. Ethan Rook, I believe. Perhaps he noticed the light from the laser pointer. That man is no different in, in is no ordinary individual. In their actions, I don't believe that the bodyguards were amateurs. This man this man isn't as an ordinary individual either. He looks too different from a generic NPC. Please add that statement to your testimony. As you wish. The man on the left side of the stage was exceptionally quick. A Mr. Ethan Rook, as I recall. Oh, silly gooberhead. Seems you aren't just a simple ice cream salesman after all. You think too highly of me, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Otherwise, how would you know the names, I guess? Why would a simple ice cream salesman know the name of the president's bodyguard? The name of the bodyguard? Surely you jest. Did you say their names just a moment ago? Mr. Knightley and Mr. Rook. Correct. Oh. Objection, you said his first name though. Let's diagram the security plans. So we learned their names from this. However, please look, only their surnames are written here. <laughs> Don't! You simply said Ethan Rook. How did you know his full name when we did not? Oh, diddly dear. That's pretty weird, sir. What? What? Why do you know his name? Explain it yourself! Yeah! That was merely a slip of the tongue. It's true, this guy is the assassin! <laughs> Young lady, you're being a little hasty. Don't make my ice cream mad. You wouldn't like it when it's mad. The reason I knew his name is quite simple. What? I'm an acquaintance of Mr. Brooks. What? He and I have a bit of connection. 
His name is... His is a name that I will never forget. Mr. Edward, he's just telling a big fat lie! This is not a lie. I'm just a simple ice cream salesman. And an acquaintance of Ethan Rooks. In that case, let's just ask Rook himself about this. Whether or not he's acquainted, acquainted with this dubious ice cream salesman. As you wish. However, that may prove difficult to now. He is currently busy with the president's security, after all. Besides, even if I am not an acquaintance of Mr. Rooks, does that prove that I fired the gun? If you aren't the assassin, then why did you remove your raincoat? It was a little hot, and the rain had stopped. I want to tear out the wound. Is there a problem with that? Ah! Just can't seem to cor corner him. Damn! Mr. Edward, what are you doing? Hur hurry up, hurry up and arrest him! Where are those sounds coming from? There's not even that many people here right now. That man's so suspicious, I'd, rest, I'd re even arrest him myself! Arrest him without evidence? How can I do such a thing? Come on, Mr. Edward, can you do something? Breaking, breaking news! A criminal is on the verge of escaping the prosecutor! No! And his ice cream sweated for some reason! Oh dear, they're already treating me like a criminal, I understand. So I've been suspected this far, it seems I will have to tell the truth. The truth? What is he up to? I saw another person wearing a red hood. What? 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 Surely that was the person who was in the photo. The first no I first noticed him right before the speech, when I was, was still raining. He caught my eye because my raincoat was the same color as mine. In his hands, I saw a laser pointer with the light aimed directly at the president. It can't be. There was another person wearing a red hood. I knew that if I wore the red coat, raincoat, I'd be mistaken for the assassin. That's why I took off the raincoat. You saw an assassin wearing the same color hood as yours. Huh. Wouldn't that be a nice coincidence? And that's what I expected, you would say. Which is why I did not testify as such. Prosecutor and the police are a suspicious lot. I knew that nobody would believe me. You're also a fucking assassin, so, you know. At the moment of the incident, the assassin was very close to the prosecutor. Prosecutor? Only arrived after the incident. Not you, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Oh. That prosecutor over there. Oh. Me? Yes, you should be visible in that photo. Here, right in front of the person in the red hood. Nah. That, 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 that's me, all right. What's your point? What's this man driving at? I have been observing your investigation this entire time, Prosecutor Edgeworth, and I have noticed something strange. Something strange? Hmm. It seems you have still haven't noticed this contradiction yet. Contradiction? In this photo, the people who can be seen are the Chief, Mr. Payne, and the Assassin. I don't see anything strange. Please think care back carefully about the circumstances during the president's speech. Uh, I believe you're holding the evidence that contradicts this photo. Oh, the guy on the left is uh further away. That's what he meant by him being quick, I guess. Do I have evidence that contradicts this photo? Yes. Honestly, I'm not sure, but I'll present that. Oh. It's a recorder, but I honestly don't know why. It can't be. It's contradiction between the photo and the tape. It seems you've noticed. Mr. Edgeworth, what's going on? There's a person missing from this photograph. Huh? Who is it? Yes, it's rather strange. Someone who would should be there, but it's not. The person who is should be in this photo is Dick Gumshoe. Uh. Oh. Take her. That. Oh, of course. Oh, 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 I I see. Because if she was listening in on the, Oh, I she was the one in the red coat. Oh, that was a nice little twist they did. So I really I was I was about to say earlier, I was like, you totally did, because you're a different person, but and it's it's it is actually gonna turn not to be him, the the guy who is actually a professional assassin, ironically enough. Huh? Only way she could have recorded that was by being right behind him, so she was wearing the red coat. M M Miss Swift? Why would you say that? 
Crane's voice was recorded on Mrs. Miss Swift's tape. He was whispering quietly with the chief prosecutor. Those from the folks stand in front of me. I reckon it was two older men. They kept on whispering to each other. See, Miss Swift was near Mr. Payne when she recorded the speech. Ah, but she isn't anywhere in this photo. That is correct. Now, Mr. Prosecutor, who is the one you should be pursuing? Ah, call Swift. Would you mind giving us your testimony? Come on, it feels weird when you talk all formal like that. It's fine, I ain't got nothing to hide. Oh, god dang it. You're evil, aren't you? So it's testimony. Hey, like I stayed in one spot while I was recording. I was moving around the audience area, shuffling here and there. I reckon the picture must have been snapped at a different different time to my to my tape record. So quit making that scary face, ain't what you think. You did it. You're a demon lord. This was tape recorded a conversation between my colleagues. Mr. Payne and the chief prosecutor. Why would Nicole be lying? That would mean It mean Nicole Sw Swift is the assassin, pal! Yo, gotta be kidding me, I ain't doing nothing like that! You guys it may, however, there is a contradiction in your testimony. Uh, huh? I, I don't reckon so, no, sir. Here's I must reveal this contradiction with evidence. I shall show you. Okay. Stay in one split spot while I was recording. I was moving around in the audience area, shuffling here and there. No, because it, if she, she was standing right there behind them right when the he got shot, right? So, Objection. yeah. Uh, 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 nah, uh, not getting by me. Miss Swift, a reporter should shouldn't lie. I, I ain't lying. I'm an honest journalist. Perhaps, but there's no de not denying that the photo and the recording were taken at the same time. That's so. Then what makes you say that? The truth lies in the these photos. This photo could only have been taken at the same time as the recording. Which spot should shows that this photo was taken at the same time as the recording? Right there. You see the president with his fist raised in the air? What about it? Swift, might we hear your tape on one more time? Nuh uh, they gotta hear whoop, yup. Wait, wait, you, you betrayed me. We'd rather be charged you with obstruction of justice and seize it from you. Uh, fine, you win. I'm no match for you, Mr. Prosecutor. The question is during which part of his speech did the president raise his fist? No matter what, so I've had his. Criminal organization there is, I will not allow them to exist. President raises his fist in the air. The atmosphere has boiled into a fever pitch. Damn, I knew I should have narrated that shit. Aha, raise fist straight from the horse's mouth, sir. Sabres record at the moment the president raises his fist overhead. Then that means... Nicole not being... Oh. Nicole not being in this photo is really strange. Oh, but she is in the photo right here. Person in the, the red hood. It was you, Nicole Swift. Ah! Uh, oh! You're the real assassin, aren't you, pal? Get her! Is that ain't so hot? I, 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 I ain't never worn a red, uh, red, red, red raincoat. Hmm, this red raincoat in question belongs to. No, this yeah, this actually does belong to John Doe because he has an injury on his arm. Rank, the raincoat's owner is Mr. Doe. That much has been proven. You were wearing something else, a different red hood. I mean, there are two red hoodies, sir. Stroh's last testimony was true. But we didn't find any other red raincoats. What Mr. What Mr. Doe saw was a red hood, not a red, not a raincoat. Miss Swift, to, what was it you told us earlier about your parka? Oh. Oh, you mean when I said it ain't work? How you worried about getting all, all dirty? It's reversible, so all I gotta do is turn inside out and. Uh, ah! <laughs> well, how goddamn stupid am I gotta be? As I thought. Stretch where the inside of her park is. It's red! Indeed, and during the incident, she was using that side. What? Her, hey, pal, what's the big idea? You're wrong, I've been wearing it like this the whole day. Well, then, will you allow me to examine your park up? Hang your clothes up. What are you expecting to find? We know it was raining prior to the president's speech. I believe you said earlier. Well, I don't use raincoats filled with umbrellas. Come ready to snow on these, but trust the park. If you really didn't turn my your park inside out, then the inside should be dry. Oh, hang on, man. I ain't, I ain't taking off this heavy backpack, put it back on again. So sorry. 
Can't we just do this another time? No, stop in the name of my finger. You think you fooled Mr. Edward with that, pal? Uh, uh, uh. All right, then, pal, we're, we're really wrong. If you're really wrong, prove it. Show us the inside of the park. Uh, it, it was me. I ain't no assassin. Swift, if you want me to believe that, then you need to cooperate with us. Will you please tell us why you wore the red side of the parka? I, I'm sorry, Mr. Prosecutor. I have my reasons, honest. I'll tell you all everything. Just come fooling me. Uh, uh, oh, who said that? Who said that? Hold it. What? Uh, what? Who's, whose voice was that? Was that Max Payne? Ah! Ah! Uh, we'll say it's a little too early for the end game. Oh my god, it's... Savari guy! Or neck brace guy! What? Uh, hey, you, in a fancy suit. Haven't you been jumping the gun ever since you, you, your opening move? This man was in case photo. Whoa, guess I should introduce myself first. My name is... Oh, look at you, fancy guy. Woo! How, how long can he go? Horace Knightley, the president's bodyguard. Second command of his personal security unit. Ah! Watch, pal! It's not a toy! Whoa, my bad. She just wants to come out and play. I can't seem to help it. Why do you have a gun in if you're not a police officer? She's Lady of Zing Va. Only the president's bodyguards are authorized to use it. Anyway, back to business. I've got some news for you. There's good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Makes no difference to me. Do as you wish. You sure? I'm giving you the first move. All right, I got you. I'll start with my paw. It's, it seems you enjoy chess. You play too, Mr. Fancy Suit. Sadworth, and I do have a fondness for chess. I, you know I fucking love that shit. Is that so? Well then, Chess Master Edgeworth, I'll start with the good news. The president's safe. Not even a scratch on him. Uh, really? That's great, pal! It seems the young lady was not a murderer after all. Good for you, Nicole. You didn't murder them, but, but I... Whoa, there. Don't forget there's still the bad news. The president's safe because his bodyguards protected him. Actually, I had nothing to do with it. It was the leader who protected him. At the cost of his own life. That, that would be the other bodyguard. Rook, was it? Yeah, that's right. Rook died to protect the, the president. Uh, what, what, what? Is that so? Rook is dead. What a shame. Th that means Nicole. It means the little lady killed him. My my brother at arms. Th that ain't true. I ain't a murder. Whoa there. Pipe down, little Miss Murder. Geez, even if we had to make a sacrifice to protect the king, it was a pretty bad move. That casting. Sacrifice in castles? What's he talking about, sir? They're all chess terms. He's saying Rook's life was exchanged for the president's. The president's. This guy sure talk, talks funny, sir. I don't like when they talk funny. You talk funny too, Gumshoe. You're not one to be talking. Horse Knightley, was it? What do you want? I'd like to examine the victim's body as soon as possible. And if it's possible, I'd like to question the president. Sorry, but I can't let you do that. What? I got another piece of news for you, and this one's a doozy. There's another piece of news? From here on out, this investigation will be handled by the Zengfa police. What? What's going on, pal? This case is under our jurisdiction, motherfucker. You have no right to interfere. You're Prosecutor Edgeworth, right? The president knows about you, you solving the Autograssu case. I'm honored. That's why the chief prosecutor is designated you in charge of the case. Seems that the chief prosecutor made a little appeal to the president. But it looks like you're the wrong guy for the job. I didn't know you'd have this kind of reaction. It's the president's orders. If you oppose, you'll, you'll cause an international incident. Kapish. Ah, ah! Hey, little lady, get over here. We'll continue your questioning inside the, the president's blade. No, no! Hey now, don't be a baby. Is you scared of a little saying fuck justice? Galaxy can be totally related to Zavari guy. Miss Prosket, please, please help me. Miss Swift? Clearly Miss Swift was the person in the red hood. 
However, it doesn't mean that the whole truth has been re revealed. I, I really didn't do it. Please believe me. But, oh, you seem sad. I don't know. Okay. So is it actually the guy? Uh, so it actually be the guy who's talking to us right now? Is it really all right for it to end this way? Well, just started this game. Oh, well, sees a girl with eyes full of fear, pleading for her help. Certainly not someone who's committed committed a heinous crime. If I stand aside now and do nothing, the truth will be lost in the darkness. Not the darkness. <laughs> Gah! What? Eh? What? 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 You? Silence. What though is an impolite way to greet someone? Your neck injury is yet to heal, and you've already forgotten. Damn, dude! He's a fucking ninja! No, no, no not you, not now! It seems you've remembered. Hey, hey what, what are you doing? Cut it out, pal! You got some nerve to do that right from a detective and a prosecutor! Stop! Stay, stay out of this! He's out of your league! Mr. Toe, who on earth are you? I'm not merely a simple ice cream salesman. He's a professional assassin. His name is Sh Shelly the Killer. Shelly the Killer? I knew it. I knew I'd seen him before. So law, no one in law enforcement doesn't know the name to Killer. An assassin who will carry out any request without fight fail. This was involved in a case I handled. Damn, this thing's too, this is like, the turtles get taking a lot of fucking turns, like, like, oh, ah, ah, ah. Who oh, is this guy? This guy? Not you? Who? Ha! Ah, you? Who? It's been a while, Prosecutor Edgeworth. Although I do believe this is a for our first face-to-face -face meeting. I think I looked inside your house at one point. The real assassin was you all along. That is correct. I received a request from a key individual. Oh, really was you? To take the, the president's life. I should have seen his face before in the case files. Curses! I was careless. I'm glad I had a knife inside my bandages, bandaged before I entered the park, even though my calculations were a little off. A knife? Not a gun? Now, Mr. Knightley, shall we play that game you love so much? Of course the stakes will be your life. <laughs> well, what are you de your demands? I want you to relinquish investigative authority back to Prosecutor Edgeworth. Investigative authority? Wow, really? What, what are you playing at? I simply want you to allow Edgeworth to continue his investigation. Huh? Why do you want that? Rook is an opponent who is connected to me by fate. I would like to discover the truth about his death. When that man died, the investigative authority was transferred to you. I am simply asking you to give it back to this prosecutor. With your life at stake, this really is the time to be stubborn. Why, you... Just using the investigative investigation to get close to the president. And what if I am? Indeed, in order to continue the investigation, it is necessary that we enter the president's battle blade. It's the leader of the president's bodyguards. I won't allow it. Oh, I thought you were only second in command. Now that Rook's gone, I'm in charge. I'm not sure if you're as capable as Rook was. But what, what are you saying? I'm totally the leader now. Please don't kill me, dude. I should think about it. I really can't slit your throat, can I, with this big giant fucking cast around your neck? But I probably shouldn't have said that. Very well. In that case, please exercise judgment befitting of a leader. You can lose your life here needlessly, or will you allow the investigation to continue? Cock. He's using the investigation as an excuse. Why would he go into all that trouble? What is this man thinking? What the balls is going on anymore? Prosecutor Edgeworth, I trust you have no objections. I'll just conti continue the investigation. Mr. Edward, what should we do, sir? For now, we have no choice but to, to accept his pr proposal. At least we'll be able to investigate. And that's what I do best. But listen, detective. Listen well, detective. I'll use the investigation to buy us time. Meanwhile, gather up all your men. Surround the, the president's plane so that he can't escape. I will do battle with him in there alone. Right, right, right to that, sir. It's Edward time. To be continued. Oh boy, that was a long one. Whew. 
<laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was wondering, is it, is it gonna go to a to be continued at any point? Cause fuck hell. <laughs> that was a lot of shit happening in one episode. I know I'm gonna cut down some of this, but right now it's like two hours. It's not very often you start off with a really long fucking first episode of something. That was good though. That was, uh, <laughs> I don't know. It was, that took a lot of turns, like holy shit. First, first we thought it was this guy, then we thought it was the girl, then we thought maybe it was the bodyguard, and then we thought never realized it really was the killer, and then like, I don't know, then we thought then we thought this maybe this goat did it, and then Larry did it over there, maybe the fucking samurai dogs did it. It was like, oh my god, ah, oh, ah, oh, nothing makes sense anymore, but it's so amazing, I don't understand, I don't care, ah, oh. oh my god, the samurai dog's got a gun, and the gun's in the shape of a samurai dog, what the fuck? Welcome to Ace Attorney Investigations Crack Version. Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm, I'm excited to see you, uh more of what this game has to offer. Hope you guys are excited too. If you are, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already become a Peaky Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Uh, it's good to be back, baby. It's good to have Edgy back. Anyway, as always guys, till next time, stay classy. <laughs>